Welcome back to Final Fantasy X my friends, I've been in the Kilika Woods collecting a little bit of ability spheres, uh, I've been using the extract ability uh, skill like I've shown you in the previous segment and now I'm gonna uh, just make Lulu and Yuna learn life and make Lulu progress in her sphere a little bit more, so we're actually going down now. Power Sphere and Power Sphere. Lulu is very close to learning her first... Uh, her, her level 2 uh, Black Magic spells Fyra, Tandara, Watarga and Blizzara. So... Pretty soon she'll be able to do it. For Waka, let's move in one more. Tidus. Um, in case you haven't been following the other parts of my walkthrough, I've been uh, placing them in the. Uh, wait, let me just see here for a second. I'm actually gonna make Himari learn something because. Let's be honest here. Um, I'm gonna wait for until I get level one sphere so that I can move Kimari to uh, Riku's grid. However, there's no reason why I can't give him a little boost at this point and make him learn some some abilities. He'll be a little bit of uh, jack of all trades, but that will be fine. You know what, why not make Kimari learn a little bit of magic? It's not like... It's gonna matter a lot, but... At least he can do something in battle. And let's move him here now. Extract ability and then there is another character that I can use to extract, extract abilities from. Should I make him learn some... I... No. Let's do this. Scan. Well, he'll be able to do something. Oh, Yuna also has one movement, so let's move Yuna here so she can learn life. Yuna learn life. And now we can... Get out of here and progress with the story, so let me just... I've collected all the items in Kilika Forest, so... we got nothing to worry about, and now what we're going to do is take this T2 right here to head towards Kilika Temple. I guess I can always get a few more ex uh, ability spheres. <laughs> Even though I'm going to be getting some ability spheres from the boss, uh, or rather from his tentacles. So let's keep going. Here we are. Uh, 
and we're gonna enter another boss battle since Pox Gena. Oh, oh. These stone steps have a history, you know. Yep, Lord O'Holland trained here at his peak. <laughs> what? Want a race? A race, huh? <clears throat> Think you can beat me? <laughs> Yuna, if you would. Uh, ready? <laughs> hey! Hey! Ah! Huh? Hey! I guess Yuna cheated. What about you, Kimar? You have something to say now. Look, look out! Everyone, quick! Sin spawn! Okay, and now we're gonna face on Sin Spawn Janeur. Um, it's protected by a shell, and if you cast magic while its tentacles are up, uh, the tentacles will absorb the magic that you use. So the first thing that you should do is take care of the tentacles. So I'm going to cast a on Yuna. I'm actually going to use extract ability. Uh, just a little bit more. One tentacle down. Let's have Wak and Kimari do something in this battle. Uh, or actually have Kimari do something in this battle because... Cast taste on Lulu as well. And now we just gotta keep damaging it uh, until it opens its shell. It's weak against fire, so use fire magic. Okay, uh, the reason why I used silent attack is because uh, that way we will be protected against uh, against its water magic because it uses water magic against you. So that way we're covered. Let's get Yuna in here. Uh, one more fire spell. Venom can pause in us, but we'll finish it in the next round anyway, so. Grand summon Valfor and uh, Valfor Overdrive will overkill the monster. Uh, its overkill hit points is 900. 900 so yeah you need to deal to use an attack that deals over 900 damage and vile force overdrive will most certainly do that for you plus as you can see uh, vile force stats actually increased and that's because the aeons power up uh, at the same time that yuna powers up so let's finish it off There we go. Perfect.
Yes. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hope to break you in a little slower. B being a guardian's tiring. You handle yourself pretty well. You got talent. Nah. So, what are these sin spawn anyway? Fiends. They fall from Sin's body and are left behind in its wake. Leave him alone and Sin comes back for him. You gotta be quick. That moment when Waka told me I had talent in battle. I think that was when I started seriously considering becoming a guardian. Let's see. Two abilities spheres and four power spheres. That's nice. Uh, yes, so let's keep going. Huh. And now we're going to meet a couple of prima donnas called the Lucagors. They got fiends in Xenarchan too. Just a few. It's a big deal when one shows up though. Uh, hey, since when have you believed me about Xanarkin anyway? I've been thinking. Maybe people Sin gets to don't die. Maybe Sin carries them through time, like a thousand years through time. And then one day, maybe they just pop back, see? Amazing. Simply amazing. Hmm? You make up one theory after another, refusing to face the simple truth. Sin didn't take Chapu anywhere. Sin crushed him and left him on the Jose shore. Your brother won't just pop back. Oh, and one more thing. No matter how much you want it, no one can take Chapu's place. No one can replace Sir Jack, for that matter. And there's no replacement for Lord Braska, either. It's pointless to think about it. And sad. Jesus Christ, Lulu, can you be any more cruel? I could never be what Chapu was. Well, stuff happens. Best not to worry. Waka, Lulu, and Waka's brother, Chapu. Something had happened between them a long time ago. I was sure of it. Well, whatever it was, it was none of my business, that's for sure. Best not to go there. I agree. Okay, time to meet the prima donnas. Ah, don't get your hopes up. You here to pray for victory too? Us pray? Who needs to pray? The Luca goers always win. Oh yeah? Then why are you here? We've been praying for some competition this year. So what's your goal this time? You gonna do your best again? Ha! It's too bad your best isn't good enough. Why even bother showing up? This time, we play to win. Hmm. Ooh, play away. Just remember, even kids can play, boys. See you in the finals! Uh, play away. Play away, uh. We have to. You know that, team? Putting people down. They're as bad as my old man. But Sir Jekt was a kind and gentle man. Well, not my Jekt. Uh... Even ten years after he left, just thinking about my old man got me angry. <laughs> but maybe that was just my way of keeping him... Nah. nah. Okay, let's head inside the temple. Enough shenanigans for now.
Really? Well, you should study hard because you need to study hard, not because you're getting treats. Hello. Uh, that's not gonna happen, ma'am, I'm sorry. Actually, are you a man? I think you're a man, oh well. Well, let's head inside the temple and... Because we have the cluster of trials coming up. However, before I do that, I'm gonna save my game. So, yeah. Uh, in the next segment, I'm gonna head inside uh, Kilika's cluster of trials and take care of that and then embark to Luca. So, thank you so much for watching, my friends, and I'll see you later. Take care.